and welcome to this week's OMSI 2 news. This week, we have some information about the Work in Progress UK map, information about a new bus that was released, and finally, a brand new DLC that is upcoming for OMSI 2. Without further ado, let's get straight into this week's OMSI 2 news. So, first of all, this was something I was meant to mention in the last one or two OMSI 2 news, but I forgot. So finally, here it is, we are discussing the upcoming or work in progress Scarborough Seafront map being worked on by Leo. This map will recreate Route 109, which is in the Scarborough Yorkshire map. And as you can see, it does use a fair few of West Country version 3 assets and has a similar vibe. But nonetheless, this should be a scenic and enjoyable UK map to drive once it's released. And here's just another screenshot giving you an idea or a glimpse of just the level of detail and basically the kind of scene that you can expect on this map. So far, it looks quite good. Also, a brand new bus was released on the web disc. This was a few uh, weeks ago there, but the Rockar de Simon bus was released on web disc. This is a Romanian bus and it is uh, fully realistic with accurate sounds, modeling, and driving physics. This is available to download for free and this is uh, particularly useful for those of you who have been or have any relation to Romania. However, the thing is that. There is no Romanian map, so although we have Romanian buses, it will be fitting to have a Romanian map as well, just so these buses could be used uh, in uh, on a Romanian map to add an extra bit of realism. But nonetheless, this will be, it's a nice addition to anyone that uh, is familiar with these buses, or even anyone just just wants something new to drive. And then finally. Oh yeah, sorry. And then, yeah, here you go. Here are the features of the Rock Hard SMON. So it's got uh, basically three versions of the U4-12-260 model. Then it's got uh, Opel root destination system. So basically different sort of uh, destination uh, displays. It's got roof hatches. So those are basically the things where you uh, notice the million coach buses. When you go up and uh, look up, you can open up the roof along the... There's like little square boxes that you just click on and they open up. It's kind of something that's on more also buses. There's also some sort of integrated retarder there with three stages. As I said, sound and textures are all realistic. The door behavior is realistic. It's interesting that they mentioned that. Generally, the door behavior is something that's hard to get wrong. Lots of set fires for those of you who like to repaint. And then, yeah, repaints, all that kind of stuff. There's even a Christmas special one. And bus is usable as air traffic. Now, most but yeah, this is actually important because some buses actually aren't usable as air traffic because there's a separate bit of code that has to be done there. But this one can be used uh, in an AI list, so as an AI bus. And then finally, some of you will be familiar with the Bolaire Blue Bus. So basically, this was really, one of these buses was re released for free. It was the normal one, the the 12 meter one, the electric bus. This was released there on the Streff. I don't know a while back now, probably over a year ago. But now, as seems to be tradition with a lot of highly condensed DLCs, uh, like a bit like uh, Grand Paris Milan, which basically was an extension of the Grand Paris, uh, no, of the Express Line 91.06, which was free. This is now turning into a Paywear DLC. So basically this means that before uh, you still have the Freeware bus available there. But now that, that bus will be included in part of the Paywear package along with all these other buses here. And one thing you'll notice is it's got it's got the same kind of style as the Halicon Day A. You know how Halicon Day do their uh, DLC uh, thumbnails. It's got that kind of font with the text. So this most likely will be part, this will be a Halicon Day A published DLC. So which uh, a bit worrying because that probably means it will be 17 euro 95 although the fact this bus this pack will only feature i think it's three different variants four different variants so i don't think 17 95 will be justified so perhaps a cheaper price point would be justifiable but we'll see how it goes but nonetheless this is being worked on by aquater design this is a french bus here the Boulevard blue bus and it will have this dlc pack will contain the first ever articulated or bendy electric bus in omc2 so there's a first of everything and it's the first of the bendy electric bus which you can see there it's pretty uh, self-explanatory which bus in the picture we're talking about and that brings us to an end to this week's omc2 news make sure to subscribe to the channel for your weekly omc2 news updates hit that like button comment down below and of course join the discord to stay even more on top of the omc2 news that is it for now until next time